kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. A fairly short kick from the 14, and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Start on the ground, ETN. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, this defense for the Steelers, they were very good in the victory a week ago over Cincinnati. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number? Six absolutely phenomenal performance. They were on top of their game right from the first snap. They'll look to throw here on first down. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. And that is incomplete. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Now, during that run, an injury here. we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now this throw caught left side. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And this one complete to Will Fuller. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And that last throw is going to put him over the top. Boy, did you think we'd ever see this? He's over 5,000 yards passing now in this, his rookie season in the NFL. Incredible. Well, we have seen a trend of college quarterbacks who threw the ball well on Saturdays come right into the league and play well in the NFL. But this type of a number, I'm not sure we could have imagined it. We're watching something really special here. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And here's Fryer Muth again. And he will have a Steelers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Try the right side here. He was brought down by Kamu Bruje Hill. They'll roll him out right to the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Dancing to his left. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. A great effort there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Steelers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and a short kick taking it about the 16 and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, and I think when you talk about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I was so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And yeah, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. William Goldston gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Well done on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do because, to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game. And those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. Now on fourth down, they throw the deep ball, but it winds up to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Texans take over an excellent field position. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Rolling to his right. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 47. On play action, they'll throw. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer move. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And room there to work it inside the 25. Second and two. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's in. 
Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there with his 28th touchdown, drawing level with Sean Alexander for the second most in a single year. And the Steelers lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll look to throw now on first down. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Texans football to start quarter two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Down to the 42, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll set up to throw, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 13-yard line. Back to the ground with ETN. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. He'll look to throw. This goes out wide for Madison. And that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Back to throw here. This is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Nick Boyle, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans have got it back to within a score. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that'll make our score of 14 to 7. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone from the six and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line the Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive so both of these teams Charles coming off touchdowns now but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do
do something even more impressive to answer that one. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. They run a draw here on second down. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here, and we'll step aside. Back in the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. So, CD, here we are. You look... Touchdown! A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now 21-7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Takes it at the seven. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits. So you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. They'll look to throw here. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. 12 more yards there and another first down. ETN up the middle. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. ETN once more. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. to throw. He'll get this underneath to Madison. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to make it fourth down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. Folks' kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Makes the score. 
So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. Sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this up to the 29. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. to throw now on first down. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they're going to speed things up here. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a man open down the middle of the field. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. They're gonna hurry back to the line now. Second and nine now. Escaping the pressure right. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. They'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Boswell's kick is good, and the lead grows to 14 at 24 to 10. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So we reach halftime. Only two quarters of football left in the regular season. Everybody's excited to get to the playoffs, so excited that we're just going to skip right over halftime and get back to the action. Taken at the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced them to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. 
He's going to rifle one deep left side. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. They'll try and throw for it here. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he is going to have the Steelers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. An option handoff given to Harris. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. His throw caught right around the six. Now back to throw. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. From six yards away. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. well now to kick it away after the touchdown taken at the 15 a short kick and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line the Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive they'll try and start this drive in the air Wisely will throw that one away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. He'll look to throw. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll look to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Devin Bush. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. They're going to look to throw. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're just looking for more of the same. Great first half so far. Good second half. And you know, sometimes, I guess, maybe, Charles, these coaches, they don't have to tell these guys much when they're rolling like they're rolling right now. You're exactly right. I've heard stories of some of the best coaches in, in our time or any time 
having grabbed their staffs at halftime and said, guys, they're playing really well. Don't go in there and give them a whole lot of stuff. Just pat them on the back. And essentially, the speech at halftime is, let's go, guys. And that's it. Yeah, no one's upset the apple cart so far. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 45 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris. That's rushing touchdown number 20 on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Boswell for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto, and so the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. That's caught by Howard. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. He'll drop to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Out of the gun now on third down. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. They give to the fullback on the dive. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. 
Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Back to throw. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Devin Bush picks up his second sack of the afternoon. They'll set up a throw. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Shepard. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll try and run with their fullback. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of two there. Second down. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Third and goal. Try to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And this offense on third down today. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and three. Now a handoff running through the middle. Here we go on fourth down. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 15 yards. The Texans pick up the first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Out right, this is Boyle, the tight end. Touchdown, Texans! Nick Boyle with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Texans get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. And quickly, they get to the line. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. And that is incomplete. 
And the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. A CD there up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. He'll buy some time right. Targeting Johnson on the comeback route, and this is caught. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. On the move to his left. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. They'll try and run for it. And this winds up a disaster. Nowhere near the marker. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught left side by the tight end, Boyle. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that will bring up second down. And now the throw taken in by Chark. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. William Goldstein able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He gets it to Cooks. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. On first down, they'll start with McFarland. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. On second down, McFarland. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with McFarland. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. a sack and a turnover on downs. Ready, go. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. Open man right side is Shark. 
And the Texans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. set up to throw and he's gonna be dropped back at the 15 yard line first down a bit of a disaster and now on second and goal back and that is caught well they're gonna see this one at the end they get a score but pretty much an exercise in futility right now still down big Full connects on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So that drive, four plays. And it's DJ Chark who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. It'll be Edmonds to begin the drive. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones and a first down. Again, they run with Edmonds. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 